Hi Scorpio, welcome to Creative Intuition Tarot, my name is MJ. Today we are looking into your December energy. So let's get straight into it and see what's up with you. In December 2021, you are showing up for your key energy as the Four of Wands. Really like this. So it means you are moving towards the future with enthusiasm, with uh, faith, with hope. Um, like happily moving forward even though you're not yet fully sure uh, how the future will unfold it makes me feel that you have accepted not knowing and you're fine with it because you have faith and you trust the future is safe with the four of wands that you are laying solid foundations right now that your part is to move forward with happiness playfulness just as he does uh, there's someone who's accompanying you, represented by the fox in the little prince, because that's the little prince tarot, that's his companion or friend, right? You're having a good time, you don't know exactly how the future will unfold, but you have deep trust that there are only good things, um, and that you are now laying solid ground for your future endeavors and success and happiness, so I really like this for you, you have accepted not knowing. Look at this, Ace of Cups. That's where you're moving towards, right? Page of Swords. Judgment. And the Queen of Wands. Beautiful. So, what do we have here? You are marching towards the ace of cups um, and almost as if leaving the judgment behind um, it always depends on the cards how i read them it's not that by default i look at this as the past it's just the way you move through the cards and how he's facing the ace of cups i feel the judgment has already happened for you for some may be happening uh, like very early december but for most i feel this is you in december already in this has happened in the past, uh, recent past, most probably. With the judgment, you can see, I said you are marching with some kind of friend, a companion, can be a spiritual companion as well. It may also be your mind space, which used to be a trickster, but now you turned it into your companion, your friend, a trusted friend, okay? You have ascended, I'm sorry for the light, you have ascended in the past with the judgment. See, you tamed the trickster, some kind of success in the past, um, some kind of new opening, a return to life, returning to your, your full capabilities, um, because it can be like return to health after struggling, and it can be uh, physical health, but it could have been like more spiritual, like in general, in, in your, the health of your life, okay, I hope that makes sense. Uh, so you return to life, return to health, ascension, you level up, your soul is up leveling, you are ready to move towards the new. And you have the new in the form of the Ace of Cups. So with the judgment and the Ace of Cups, that is really very profound and whatever area of life you are dealing with is in your focus. This will be different for everyone. It can apply across all areas of life. It is really profound and for a lot of you it is deeply spiritual a lot of us are growing spiritually <clears throat> i'm sorry our souls are up leveling as i said we are taming the mind that was the trickster and moving towards looking at the world from the intuitive heart and soul perspective being marching to the beat of our own drum right uh, and listening to our heart and our intuition so I really, I really like this. And the new beginning that you are moving towards is a miracle. It's like a miraculous or full of magic, and very transformational with all the butterflies. Okay, so you are really returning to health. And with the Ace of Cups, you are blossoming, flourishing, and really transforming um, into the most advanced, the most beautiful version of yourself so far. 
that's how profound uh, it is and again remember it can be in any area of life but this is all the good things all the pleasure joy with the ace of cups that is the overflow of all those good things it's a new beginning and it's tapping into a limitless and endless fountain of happiness of pleasure joy it can be resources it can be monetary success as well and that overflow of resources emotional resources can be creative resources limitless creative resources and also limitless connection or endless i should say to that divine so all those elements are included in the ace of cups mm. your life is truly up leveling um and remember the creativity and intuition they are really coming from exactly the same place and i am i keep saying this across december readings but it seems of importance that only when we allow ourselves to flow with the rhythm of life we let go of control and we just go with the flow and allow the wave of life to take us only then we can truly tap into our intuition into our cre creativity right because they come from exactly the same place and i said at the beginning you finally accepted not knowing and now you're moving with with life in acceptance and with faith that there are only good things and hence with that change of mindset with that upliftment that profound shift on it's like a paradigm shift you are moving towards miracles maybe represented by the new year ace of cups it may mean that those miracles start to happen with the beginning of 2022 especially that there's a lot of love with the ace of cups in 2022 is summing up to six which is the lover's card and then uh, a number of love family okay so i really i really like this uh with the page of swords what is driving you and symbolically it's at the top of the spread is your inquisitive curious mind okay so that is leading you as i said you tamed your mind from being a trickster into being a tool for some kind of self-empowerment but also that companion curious and inquisitive mind wanting to know more and more wanting to grow expand uh, in again in whatever area it can be that logical mindset that brilliant human mind it can be uh, that higher mind intuition imagination creativity communication is um highlighted as well but your open refreshed mind your new perspective is driving you is allowing you all of this to happen okay um and with the queen of wands so you're looking uh, through the telescope into your future again with confidence but what is most important with this particular um, set of cards and queen of wands um like rooting the spread is that you are you have some kind of vision there is something that you really want to that destination you want to get but you are cheering up for yourself you really believe in yourself you believe your dreams are going to come true not only that they can but that they will and you keep motivating yourself you are your self motivator you you are your <coughs> your own like um how do you say that secure um security circle like you know what i mean that that you are the best companion for yourself at this time you know you can count on yourself you are self-reliable um you motivate yourself to keep going so with this companion represented by the fox it's not only there may be someone who's actually uh, accompanying you someone who you share your journey with but your primary companion is you your refreshed curious mind and you you just feel very good with yourself with your body as well <clears throat> i'm sorry something is happening with my throat um maybe i'm just prompted to finish because we're at almost 10 minutes so you really feel good with yourself including physically and your health so let, let's just leave it there um it's an amazing reading i am wishing you an amazing december um please take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye